Hi, welcome to Storytime. I have a book here. It's One, Two, Three, Jump. And it's by Liesel H. Detlefson, illustrated by Madeline Valentine. There we go. One, two, three, jump. The first thing you need to do is put on your suit. No, not that suit. A swimsuit, silly. <laughs> not that suit. Some swimmers also wear a cap. Oops. Not again, a rubbery, stretchy, waterproof, colorful swim cap. Goggles are helpful too. Seriously, you think those goggles are gonna help you in the pool? <laughs> hey, you never know. Okay, you're finally ready to jump into swimming lessons. Boy, that's quite a, yeah. When you arrive at your first lesson, you'll meet the other students and the teacher. Your swim teacher will be an extremely good swimmer, but not a goldfish or the Loch Ness Monster or a mermaid. You don't need a fancy fin to swim, though if your lesson goes well, you might get to put a pair of those flippers on your feet. There you go. That looks like fun, doesn't it? Yeah. Go swimming in the big pool. Your swim teacher will begin by teaching you some important safety information, like no running around the pool and stay on the wall when it's not your turn and don't use your favorite stuffed animal as a flotation device. See, there's the teacher. And then, yep, those are the rules. Can't do those. Now, one, two, three, jump! <laughs> That looks like fun. You're not ready yet? No, the water isn't so cold, it will turn you into a kidsicle. You'll get used to it. Yes, that smell is totally normal for a swimming pool. It's the chlorine added to keep the pool clean. No, that slurping sound isn't a sea creature trying to suck you into its mouth. It's just a filter. Just the filter. That's right. Let's start by getting comfortable in the water. Hey, get your blankie out of there. That's not what I meant by comfortable. Try dangling your legs in the shallow end. Fish won't nibble your toes. Aren't you going to get into the pool? Don't think about the deep end just yet. Instead, think about trying on those flippers. My goodness. You're just not ready? Maybe you could practice blowing bubbles. No, not like that. Just put your lips underwater and hum your favorite tune. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well done. See, they were all doing it. Yep. Coming in the water. Yep. Time to put your head underwater. No, the swimming pool is not home to sharks or alligators or shark gators even in the deep end. Thanks to those handy swim goggles, you can put your face in the water and see for yourself. And a little farther, almost there. Super! Good job, huh? Yeah. Now you can get into the pool, right? One, two, three, jump! What, you still need more time? Let's move on to floating. Relax and let the water hold you up, first on your back, then on your tummy. Still not ready. But they're floating, yeah. Time to get those legs into action. I know you're excited about the flippers, but first you should learn the flutter kick and the dolphin kick. Flutter, flutter, flutter. Great kicking. Good job. <clears throat> now, let's have some fun. Who can make the biggest splashes? Wow, you've really got the hang of it, but you do realize you need to get into the pool to really learn how to swim, right? Yep, can't just do it from the side. Got to get in. S 
seriously, you can do this. Your swim teacher will catch you, I promise. Just one big jump and then everyone can try out the flippers, okay? Let's count together. One, two, three. <gasps> do you think that she's gonna do it? Jump! Ta-da! Look it! Yay! Hooray, you did it! I knew you had it in you. I just knew it. Jumped right in. Flippers for everyone! Oh, yay, those are so fun. They make it go so fast. They do. And she's floating. Look, with her flippers on. That was adorable.